Jackson State, the four stars, they still love to kick it down in Jackson, Mississippi. As Jackson State lands a commitment from four-star athlete, wide receiver, running back hybrid, Kobe Boykins. Let's talk about it, what it means, and how they should be able to use him in 2024 after the bumper. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lighty Jr. YouTube, Facebook, wherever you get your content. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because I upload all the time. Now, Jackson State, Coach T.C. Taylor and the Tigers, they said, hey, you know, we don't like sitting at home during Celebration Bowl weekend. We don't like not being a part of the conference championship talk. We don't like all of the stuff happening in the SWAC, and it doesn't involve us. It just involves family. We don't like that. And so they are doing their part to get back to the Celebration Bowl, and that includes snagging a four-star athlete. He's a Florida boy via California. It's kind of confusing a little bit. Kobe Boinkins. Kobe Boinkin, five foot eight, 170-pound athlete. The young man can make things happen. He can fly. Because when you're five foot eight, when you're 170, and you're getting power five offers from Utah, from Arizona, from Colorado, Arizona State, you are a dog you are a dog and kobe boingen is a dog uh over 40 touchdowns over the last couple of years during his high school career young man can play flat out play let me go ahead and show you his, his rivals account his rivals profile it shows you legit four star this is kobe boingen like i said out of the state of florida i think he played some ball in california though uh, during his high school days he was once committed to utah once a former utah commit a uh, utah take anytime you're a take for a, a place like utah to place smash mouth hard nose football competing uh, for pac-12 titles recently i think they're going to the big 12 now that the pac-12 is kind of dying this is a ball player look at some of the offers that he had if you just look up here school offer texas a and Unofficial visit Memphis, uh, decommit from Utah like the young man can play. Unofficial visit to Penn State, Arizona, Arizona State, Arkansas State, Colorado. He's got it all. The young man can play. This is a big time player. The one thing I will say, though, this is on the Jackson State side. He is a player similar size, playmaking ability, explosiveness to Seven McGee. So now you'll have two players on your roster in 2024, kind of miniature. How will you be able to maximize their talent? How, how will you be will you be able to maximize the talent of a Seven McGee and to maximize the talent and playmaking ability of a Kobe Boinkin? Because with players like that, they open they open a level of offense that maybe you didn't have in the past. They can allow you to do some things to take handoffs from the backfield, to catch short screen passes or short routes and turn them into long yards after catch. Right, You have to be able to maximize and get really creative with your offensive play calling and your offensive play designing for a player like Kobe Boykin to truly get it all out of him, to truly be able to show him off as a playmaker. Now, because this could be your next big time, like I said, big time player, and you don't want to have a wasted year. You want them to stay healthy. Seven's got to come back and stay healthy. You want Kobe to stay healthy. I saw, like, we there was a player similar to this. He actually had a similar story, just recruiting process, as Kobe Boykin. That was Ryan Pepin during his time. Ryan Pepin's during his time at Grambling. They didn't use him right. They didn't use him right. Ryan Pepin's was at Utah, ended up at Grambling, and it just didn't, it, it just didn't click. And he ended up transferring out and going to UAB. He's now at UAB. I want this to work. But for this to work, that means Seven McGee has to work for Jackson State. So for this to work, Maurice Harris, Coach Harris, Coach T.C. Taylor have to get creative and be able to find ways to get the ball to this young man in space, to get the ball to Seven McGee in space. And now you're talking about home run hitters all over Jackson State's offense. Seven McGee, Rico Powers, Isaiah Spencer. You get Isaiah Kendall another year in there. All your running backs are Mulligan, uh, Ahmad Miller, Moultrie, uh, uh, Zeke. All of those guys, J.D. Martin, you got players and the ultimate weapon at quarterback with Jacoby and Morgan. What will you be able to do with it? What will Kobe look like during spring ball? This is big. 
a four-star recruit out of the Miami, Florida, with Power 5 offers to go to JSU, that's always a big thing. Now you have to make it worth it. Now you have to show the young man it was worth coming to Jackson State. We're going to put you in the best position to be successful. We're going to put you in the best position for our team to be success, uh, successful, for you to be successful, and to us to go out there and make plays and win football games. I'm excited for him. Shout out to the Tigers, Tiger Nation, Coach T.C. Taylor for making it happen. But now it's about maximizing having the young man there. He chose you over Utah. He chose you over Colorado, Arizona State, et cetera, et cetera. Make him look smart. Make him make this the reason why others like him will choose to not only just go to JSU, but to other black colleges. But I'm excited about it. Kobe Boykin, four-star wide receiver athlete. You'll see him take some handoffs. You'll see him do some jet sweeps. You'll see him catch scream routes, but he also can go deep as well. It's headed to 1400 JR Lynch Street. My name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think of Kobe Boykin going to Jackson State? My name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lightsey Jr. YouTube, Facebook, wherever you can it. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Like, share, subscribe. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at jlightc7. That is on Instagram and the X at jlightc7. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you next time. Peace.